Hello, great kids. Welcome to a new trimester. In our first lesson, we are going to be looking at exercise 14. In our exercise 14, we are going to be dealing with our basic operations and substitutions. Now let's get our quantitative reasoning book and let's begin. Now let's look at what we have here. We have three circles, each having a letter in it. Letter A has a 4, letter B is an 8, and letter C a 9. So, when you say A squared, what does it really mean? It means A multiplied by A. And since A has been assigned the number 4, definitely we are going to have, we are going to have, you know, 4 times 4. And so that gives us 16. All right, so it means a square is equal to what? 16. All right, all right, now let's go back and see more on this. We also have b square in a similar way is 8 times 8, and that gives us 64. Then we have c square is 9 times 9, and that is 51. So when we are asked to find the sum of c square and b square, it simply means we are to add c squared to b squared. Uh, c squared is 81 and b squared is 64. All right? c squared is 81. And b square is 64. Now that means c square plus b squared is going to be 81 plus 64. If we do this addition properly, we are going to get a 5 here. 4 plus 1 is 5. And then 8 plus 6, 14. All right. That is 145. So what we do is to write down 145. So to do this is not difficult at all. So we just follow this instruction and do for other area number one number two number three and so on all right now let's look at the second example this sample has a shape that looks like an m now to get the number at the middle it is very obvious that we need to add the number at the top. 6 plus 4 gives a 10. 6 plus 4 is what? A 10. Then when you look at the number at the bottom, you have a 2 and a 5. You also discover that 2 times 5 is also a 10. So, to get a 10, we can either add the numbers at the top or simply multiply the number at the bottom. So in a similar way, you can get 12 by multiplying 4 by 3 or simply adding 5 to 7. So to get either 4 or 6, we simply subtract 6 from 10 and that gives us 4 or 4 from 10 that gives us a 6 
The same way to get the 2 or the 5, we simply divide the 10 by 2 to get a 5 or we divide the 10 by 5 to get the 2. So the same is applicable here in the second sample. So with this knowledge, we should be able to find what is missing in this box and in this box by simply following the room. We should also try to answer other questions that comes after number 11. Okay, that is question from 11 to 20. Alright. Now, let's look at the final one, which is the third one. We see a shape. <clears throat> this egg shape has numbers written inside and a line. Now, when you carefully look at the number on top, which is a 14 in the first sample, 14 in the first sample, you will discover that when the numbers at the bottom is added, 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 gives a 14. Alright? So adding all the numbers below the line gives the number above the line. So to get any of the number at the bottom, all we need to do is to simply subtract the numbers at the bottom from the number on top and that will give us for example to get this four you subtract five two and three from fourteen and that gives you the four so when we apply this method to all the other questions we are going to get the correct answers all right so it is not a difficult exercise at all so let's try to do the questions from 21 to 30 on this exercise well thank you for watching and see you in the next class bye bye